next up, she was top last week. Will we see a sequel? Claire Buckfield. <laughs> Robin, five across the board, 25. You beat me last week. I think any time that you're at the top of the table, it's a hard place to be because there's only one place to go. We're kind of feeling the pressure now because we've got to keep delivering. Oh, I've got the wrong, I've got the wrong arm. Oh, sorry, I forgot that big. As well as a complex routine, Jane and Chris feel that Claire is ready to try a daring and dangerous move. It's never been attempted by one of our celebrities before. We've got a backflip in this week's routine, which I'm finding pretty difficult to land. I'm so scared about that. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> don't worry. She gets flipped over Andre's arm, and it is a bit hairy, because if you don't land it correctly, you could be on your feet one minute. The next minute, on the floor. This week, I've been pushed out of my comfort zone. <laughs> So it's 50-50 chance whether we land it on Saturday. Skating to Flashdance, what a feeling from the movie Flashdance. Please welcome onto the ice, Claire Buckfield and Andre Lebanon. But will she be dislodged from the number one spot? She needs the best score of the competition to go back into first place on the judges' score. Well, she worried about this somersault and she landed it to perfection. Well done. And then the flambeau lift. Well, she says the hardest thing about skating is standing still, but she hardly ever seems to do that. What will the judges score here? She's had a mark of 25 last week. Nikki, 5.5. Natalia, 5. Jason, 4.5. Karen, 5. Robin, 5. That gives her 25. You're joint top. You are joint top. What, what did you feel like when you finally got down on the ground, when you landed? Um, I, I was just like, I don't even know where I was. <laughs> but relieved. Relieved, yeah. I think my mum will be more relieved, actually, that I landed the backflip. Yeah, and that's a <laughs> tough one to do. It is, actually. I mean, if you don't land it right and cushion the knees, you can just suddenly pop up again, as we saw on the VT, and fall over. So she did really well tonight. So you're pushing her hard? We are. We've been we, really mean. We pushed her out of a comfort zone, like she said, and uh, I, but I think she's enjoying that, actually. Oh, very tricky. Yeah. Very tricky. Well, well done, you. Judges. Great scores again, judges. And Nikki, a 5.5. The highest score of the competition so far. Yes, and it's only week three. Thank and you. The, the spin you did, the changed foot in that, makes it more difficult, so that was one thing. When you did the lift, the overhead, you were holding your foot behind. That makes it more difficult. You're skating and doing the steps on your own and looking very confident. You know, but there's more to come. Yes. Because if you can actually get more presentation and add that on top of what you're doing and a little bit more syncopation to some of the music, it'll be even better. But well done. It was okay, super. Thank you very much. Thank you. And Jason, when Nikki 
is a presentation you're nodding your head. So what? Yes, I mean the thing with Claire is you are at the top and you have you've had consistent performances over the weeks. The thing is, with this one, I wanted you to really go for it. I wanted to feel that feeling. You know, it takes me back to my lycra and leg warmer days, that oh, song. Oh, goodness um, me. However, Imagine that. Yes, well, it wasn't pretty. We all have those faux pas. <laughs> um, however, you, it's your leg lines. Watch okay. your leg lines, especially in, in the flambeau lift, OK? Yeah. All right, thank, thank you. you very much, judges. Oh, God, that's put a picture in my head I didn't want. <laughs> if you've got a feeling that Claire should go through to next week, then vote for her. The lines will be opening very shortly. Claire and Andre!